Ellen DeGeneres likes to have children, but did not be in her future plans. In today's video, we are going to discuss why Ellen DeGeneres has never had kids. We will also talk about her professional and private life. Stay tuned to find out. Not every Hollywood star dreams of following the formal way of life in raising and nourishing a child. Some celebrities just long for nurturing a little kid with their parental care. But not everyone is expected to live that conventional lifestyle. Despite the beauty of a family and parenting life, it's not a life for everyone and even some stars refuse to adapt to the norm. One of the stars who does not want to dive into the kiddie pool pit is American comedian Ellen DeGeneres as the host revealed that she had chosen not to be a mother. The popular talk show host has always been open about her feelings toward kids. Well, she finds children cute and beautiful, and raising one kid is a completely different story. Ellen thinks that it takes a huge amount of dedication to properly raise a kid, and she does not have the energy for that. She told the Today Show, I love kids, but that's such a big commitment. It appears to be long-term. It looks like a commitment that you have to stick with, and I just don't know if I can. It's too risky. Ellen jokingly commented, What if I don't like the child? What if it turns out that it's not as cute as I wanted or as talented? I'm gonna compare it to all these children that I have on this show that are so smart and so funny. And I'm like, you are nowhere near these kids I had on today. Even Betty DeGeneres, Ellen's mother, shed some light on the reason why Ellen still hasn't had children. Betty said, Ellen has far too much class. The one-liner answer of Ellen's mother says it all. The parenting lifestyle does not suit Ellen, and raising a child would not complement her life with wife Portia. American comedian, television host, actress, writer, and producer Ellen DeGeneres is one of the most famous TV show hosts in the world. The talk show host earned a huge amount of success in Hollywood when she began her TV show titled Ellen in 2003 that aired until 2022. She has earned 33 Daytime Emmy Awards for the particular show. She is also one of the most celebrated hosts in Hollywood and hosted many prominent shows including the Academy Awards, Grammy Awards, and the Primetime Emmys. She has also written a total of four books and even started her own record label firm called 1111 and a production company called A Very Good Production. Aside from hosting, she has also engaged herself into the film industry, starring in multiple movies such as Mr. Rung, Dr. Doolittle, Coneheads, Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, and a lot more. However, her achievement in Hollywood was soon tarnished after she was officially cancelled by the public. Ellen DeGeneres and Portia DeRossi's Relationship Portia DeRossi tried to hide her real identity. At first, she avoided having a connection with the same gender. The Ally McBeal actress even married American audio engineer Mel Metcalf. The Australian actress later admitted that she just married him for the green card and just couldn't reject herself of a loving relationship with women. She finally accepted who she was and had a romance with the same gender. Portia was even in a relationship with writer and filmmaker Francesca Gregorini at the time she met Ellen DeGeneres. Despite being with Gregorini, Portia never talked about her relationship in public. However, everything changed when she finally got together with Ellen. When she got together with the talk show host who helps out her guests, she said, I was thinking, well, the people who need to know I'm gay now and I'm somehow living by example by continuing on with my career and having a full rich life. And I am incidentally gay. But it's not a big political platform. I justified it in so many ways. Believe me, I had a very, very long and difficult struggle with my sexuality. Ellen DeGeneres and Portia DeRossi have been married since August 2008. The couple tied the knot after four years of dating. They have been enjoying each other's company for almost 14 years. Over the course of their relationship, the couple had very sweet memories. Despite the height difference between them, their relationship is going very strong. What's your take on this topic? Let us know in the comment section below. With that being said, it's time to end our today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out.